So about a million people in the US suffer from Parkinson's disease, and that number is expected to double over the next two decades. In Minnesota, we have one of the highest incidences of Parkinson's disease in the nation. Treatment for Parkinson's disease for a long time has been palliative, so what we mean by that is that many of the therapies that are available are treating the symptoms of the disorder, but not necessarily the underlying cause of it. So while many of these treatments can be effective in the short term, in the long term, because you're not addressing the causes of the diseases, are not preventing the disease from progression. So we've been working on this molecule, NAADP, for several years since we came to the University of Minnesota. This is a molecule that was first discovered in an invertebrate system here at the U over 20 years ago. And there's emerging data showing that NAADP is very important uh, for making neurons and in neuronal function. And we're interested in these processes and how these processes may go awry in scenarios in the orange generation, such as Parkinson's disease. So our short-term goal will be looking to try and understand how NAADP works in neurons and signaling goes wrong in people that have Parkinson's disease. And that will open the door to the longer-term goal of optimizing NAADP derivatives that could feed into a therapeutic pipeline for preserving neuronal function in vivo or creating neurons in the brain in scenarios of neurodegeneration. With our funding through Regenerative Medicine Minnesota, this project would not be happening. Funding through RMM is allowing us to do the experiments that we need to do to test our hypothesis. I think RMM has been a great boon to stem cell research in this state, enabling jobs and tools and experiments that will develop technologies that will hopefully feed back into the local economy once discoveries are made.